I am back on trail after gosh, nearly two weeks off. Injuries don't actually feel that much better, but it is what it is. My parents just dropped me off at Rockfish Gap, so I'm starting Shenandoah National Park. So I have found that the people are what make this trail doable. I truly enjoy hiking. I love the views. I love being at camp at night. I love everything about this trail, but when you have a bad moment, it's the people that pull you out of it. I was just sitting in the middle of the trail, like middle of the trail, there were steps. And I met a guy named 70 Pound Hammer. He really checked to make sure that I didn't just injure myself, that I was hurt before he left. And then when he found out that I was okay, he was like, then I will see you at camp. One step in front of the other, keep doing it. Eventually you'll get there. And this was so encouraging and so nice. Um, at a time when clearly I needed it. Good morning from Shenandoah National Park. Uh, <laughs> day two. Uh, yesterday, it's not a great day. Drop off days are always hard. Last night, got in bed around 9.30. The wind was pretty wild, it was knocking some branches off and falling on the metal roof above us in the shelter, so that was like bombs were dropping. Stop for a break. Ibuprofen is due soon. So I need a snack. Also Shenandoah National Park. Easy. Boring. <laughs> uh, 10 miles and not a single view. Not one. I have biked 13 miles today and This is my first view today, and I'm not sure if I'll get any more today, but I will take what I can get because the green tunnel is real in Shenandoah. Uh, I feel like it, the trees are like closing in on me. I walked up on this little beauty. She jumped high up in the air and then said, whatever, I'm gonna keep snacking. So I hiked 21.5 miles today to a cliff that had sunset views. Gut hooks said there were five to six stealth sites. Found one. I'm in it. Uh, 15 minutes before the sun was about to set, it started to rain a little bit on us, but then it stopped and it was fine and it was beautiful. For those who follow through hiking, I earned a medal this morning that officially makes me a through hiker. So I'm officially a through hiker now, right? Because I want to get something for that. I need some sort of medal for what happened this morning. There's a baby. Finally, Shenandoah is showing up with some views. Trail magic. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this video. Um, I am less than a mile from the campground that I am aiming to go to for lunch use their flushing toilets, trash cans, all the luxuries. I have an emergency, like, right here. Uh, for, for reference, that's Skyline Drive, and this is, this is what I had to walk through. <sighs> it's been a rough week. I have had a stomach ache since I got dropped off in Shenandoah. All day, every day, my stomach just aches and aches, and I don't, I just don't feel good, so. Uh, Hope that goes away soon. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not, but the Appalachian Trail is full of cemeteries. It's so weird. I mean, I think it's because this land existed before the trail and kind of took the land. So some of these things might have existed before, but it's still bizarre when you emerge from the woods and just 
Gravestones everywhere. <laughs> I feel like a feral animal. It's like crawling up this little side trail from the woods up to this fancy lodge with a restaurant. Most of the people here drove in having nice family vacations and I just emerged unshowered because I want food. <laughs> don't walk them by the Appalachian Trail if you don't want the feral animals to crawl up for french fries. <laughs> Good morning. I woke up in a campground this morning, very well rested. Best sleep that I have had on trail so far, hands down. This is pretty. <laughs> So within the last mile of my day, I get to cross a four lane highway. It's actually not too bad, but you know what I can't do in the last mile of my day? Run. Can't really run, so I'm actually really grateful. Nobody's here. Just enjoyed a black bean burger and french fries and good company. I'm learning about bears now, but I'm gonna head to the shelter and fill out some postcards for my family. On my first overnight adult backpacking trip, I stayed at Gravel Springs Hut in Shenandoah National Park. There she is. It's coming back to me. This is it. This is where I stayed. It's really cool. You did it. Okay, I got it. Well, as long as you eat breakfast, it's just gonna keep coming. What are you having? What are you having? What are you having? What are you having? Oh! Oh! Hey! This is the end of Shenandoah National Park. I'm officially crossing over. Officially haven't seen a bear. But I did it! I'm only a few more miles to the road and a shower. I have not showered in seven or eight days. <laughs> Someone's been shooting my entire descent down this mountain. It's been like shooting practice. Not sure why or where, if it's a yard, if it's a gun range. I'm gonna say no to a gun range because it's been one gun the whole time, but 